Hello and welcome. In this video, we will learn about break, continue and pass. Okay. So here I have written two programs, one using while loop and another using for loop. Both programs get you the same result. That is, they print out number from 1 to 100. Okay. Now we can pause this screen and see how it works. All right. So we have learnt about while loop and for loop. So you know how this works. So you can pause the screen and see it. Now I have commented this out. I will execute this now and show you the result. I have clicked on execute and I have the result here. I have the result here. Okay. So starting from 1, we have number still 100. Okay. Now, I will comment these lines, comment out these lines and uncomment these. Now I will run this and we get the same result. Okay, we get the same result. So you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 lines were required in while loop, whereas 3 were required in for loop to get the same result. Right? Now, let us let us uh, take a problem and then understand when to use break, when to use continue and when to use pass. Okay. So let me clear this out. Let me clear this out. Let me, yeah, cut this. Let me cut this and let me open a notepad. And let me paste it here just for the time being. I'll uncomment this. I'll uncomment this. Now, see, executing this gets you numbers from 1 to 100 in steps of 1. Correct? Steps of 1. Let me clear this. What I want to do is, I want to print numbers from 1 to 100 but if I encounter a number which is divisible by 5 then I have to stop the program okay so I have to start the program I have to execute the program I have to start printing the numbers from 1 to 100 but when I encounter a number which is divisible by 5, then I need to stop the program there itself. Okay. So how do I do it? I do it using any flip. Okay. So I have while here. While i is less than or equal to 100. Print i. Okay. So here I will add if if i mod 5 is equal to 0 then break okay then break so see I've used an if loop within while loop okay and I've used the term break within if loop okay so now let me execute this show you the result and then explain you what or how this works okay so i'll click on play so you can see one two three four and then done okay so now see initially we have told i is equal to one and while i is less than or equal to 100, all these things should happen. That is the meaning, right? While i is less than or equal to 100, all these things, all these lines, all these statements or all these instructions within while loop must be executed. That is the meaning here. So in the first iteration, I can say in the first iteration, i value is 1, i value is 1, 1 is less than 100, so this comes out as true, so it goes to this line. 
it checks whether i mod phi is equal to 0. So i mod phi, so you know that this symbol gets you the remainder, correct? This symbol gets you the remainder. So it checks whether 1 divided by phi, the remainder is 0, which is not true, okay, which is not true. So this does not get executed, okay? This break does not get executed. So what happens? It moves to the next line, print i. So first value in i is 1. So 1 will be printed out. Okay. So here you see print is within while loop. Okay. Print is within while loop, not if loop. Or I can say print is under while loop and not if loop. Break is under if print is under while this line is also under while all right now after i gets printed out which is one in first iteration in the next line it gets incremented by one so incremented one by one meaning two so i value will be two at the end of this so once again it goes here two less than or equal to 100 it comes out as true it goes to this line it checks whether 2 mod phi is equal to 0 this comes out as false so this line will be skipped this line will be executed print i so number 2 will be printed in the next line it will be incremented by 1 so i value will be 3 here it goes here less than 100 true this is false so it comes here 3 gets printed same way in the next loop or next iteration 4 will be printed and in the next loop here the i value becomes 5 at the end of this i value becomes 5 so 5 is less than 100 this is true but when it comes here 5 mod phi is equal to 0. So this becomes true. When this becomes true, break gets executed. Break means exit the loop. Okay. The meaning of break is exit the loop. So this when executed says stop iteration, stop the iterations, stop the loop, come out of the loop or end the loop that is what break means so when this becomes true the entire while loop stops and this gets executed this print done is outside of while loop okay only when while loop is done this will be executed but now break has been executed and it has told to stop the while loop entirely so that's why the next line will get executed line number seven gets executed and so done gets printed out okay so this is how break works so we'll see one more example later okay practical example but break tells you to stop executing the loop stop executing the loop or come out of the loop or terminate the loop all right next let me clear this let me clear clear this okay now let me copy this okay let me copy this and let me delete this all right so this also gets me a number from 1 to 100 right now let me show you how continue works if if i mod phi is equal to 0 0 continue that is what i am saying okay so here i have used the same condition if i equal to 0 continue so see what the result is let me go here so you can see 1 2 3 
फोर फाइव फाइव इज स्किप्ड फाइव इज नॉट हियर सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन टेन इज नॉट हियर इलेवन ट्वेल्व थर्टीन फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन फिफ्टीन इज नॉट हियर सिक्सटीन सेवनटीन एटीन नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी इज नॉट हियर सो ऑल द नंबर्स विच आर डिविजिबल बाई फाइव आर स्किप्ड और आर नॉट प्रिंटेड ओके आर नॉट प्रिंटेड सो दिस इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन ब्रेक एंड कंटिन्यू राइट सो ब्रेक टर्मिनेट्स द लूप एंटायरली ओके ब्रेक टर्मिनेट्स द लूप एंटायरली कंटिन्यू स्किप्स द इटरेशन continue does not terminate the loop continue skips the iteration that's all okay so let me explain this in detail so for i in range 1 to 101 so in the first iteration value of i is 1 then it checks if 1 mod 5 is equal to 0 this comes out as false so this is skipped and this is printed so print i so one will be printed all right so let me run this yeah. so one is printed all right first iteration is done in the second iteration value of i is 2 it checks whether 2 mod 5 is equal to 0 this comes out as false so continue line is skipped so 2 will be printed next line 3 will be printed next line 4 will be printed and next line or in the fifth iteration value of i will be 5 5 mod 5 is equal to 0 this comes out as true so this will be executed so when continue executes whatever is remaining in the for loop will be skipped okay remaining statements will be skipped or i can say that particular iteration will be skipped so phi does not get printed next iteration value of i is 6 it runs same 6 is printed 7 is printed 8 is printed 9 is printed and when the value of i is 10 10 mod phi is equal to 0 it comes out as true so continue is executed and so that iteration will be skip in break or if we use break entire loop will be terminated okay entire loop will be terminated but here in continue that particular iteration will be skipped that's all okay so let me clear this let me clear this so break having break here let me play so 1 2 3 4 done so fifth iteration in the fifth iteration when this comes out as true the loop will be terminated entire loop will be terminated and this will be printed whereas if i use continue that particular iteration will be skipped that's all so you can see 100 is not printed 95 is not printed 90 is not printed see all the numbers divisible by 5 between 1 and 100 will be skipped okay so this is the difference between break and continue all right now let us take a uh, let us take a practical example all right there is an atm machine <clears throat> okay there is an atm machine and this atm machine gives out notes of 500 rupees 500 rupees only okay 500 rupees only it doesn't give 100 rupees notes or it, i can say it doesn't have 100 rupees notes or 2000 rupees notes it has 500 rupees notes only all right and you want to withdraw money from it now let us write a program for this okay let us write a program now i'll write the program i'm defining a, a variable called as uh, money and i'm taking input from the user okay enter the amount enter the amount so i am asking users how much money do they want to withdraw all right then i am saying i equal to 500 because 
uh, we have 500 rupees notes only in the ATM machine, right? So I need a variable i equal to 500. Now, while while i is less than or equal to money, okay? While i is less than or equal to money, print i, all right? Print i, and then i equal to i plus 500 okay and then at the end print thank you thank you all right so let me clear this let me clear this so let me run it let me run the program it asks how much money do i want to withdraw so i want to withdraw 2000 rupees i want to withdraw 2000 rupees yeah it prints out Yeah, let me change this let me change this and yeah let me run it once again so it asks enter the amount to withdraw so i'll enter 2000 rupees and every time or i can say and uh, when i enter 2000 rupees i get four notes of 500 rupees which is equal to 2000 rupees okay so I get 500 rupees one note, 500 rupees second note, 500 rupees third note, 500 rupees fourth note. Okay, so four, 500, 2000 rupees, and at the end it says thank you. All right. Let me run it once again. It asks enter the amount. I say 500 rupees. So I get one 500 rupees notes and a note and thank you. All right. So this is how uh, the ATM machine works. All right, so I define i equal to 500. So every time 500 gets printed. So when 500 gets printed, it means one 500 node comes out of the machine. All right. Now, uh, let us assume that the ATM machine has only 2000 rupees in it. Okay. It has only 2000 rupees in it. Now, we want to withdraw money from this. If we enter an amount which is greater than this, then it should break. Okay, or I, uh, I have to say while loop should terminate. That is what we have to do with this. All right, so let us do that now. So for that, now I will define one more uh, variable available 2000. Okay, available money in the ATM is 2000 rupees. All right, and then I'll put an if statement here. If, if I is greater than, I is greater than away, okay, away, break, break. All right, so what I'm saying is if if in any iteration if in any iteration the value of i becomes more than or greater than available money in the atm then stop it in other words if i say if i say let me uh, let me run it and show it to you if i say uh, 3000 if i say 3000 3000 is more than 2000 which is inside the atm if i say 3000 and press enter it should give me 2000 okay it should give me 2000 rupees because 2000 is available in the uh, machine right so it should give me 2000 rupees and then it should terminate all right so that is what i've done using break statement if if i is greater than available then break all right so if you if you uh, let us say if you want to uh, display a message you can do that also you can say print print out of cash you can print this also all right so let me clear this let me clear this i'll click on play and it says enter uh, the amount i'll say 5000 rupees so it gives me 500 500 500 500 2000 rupees which is available in the atm and then it says out of cash and then thank you all right so this is how you can use 
break statement break statement so we take input from the user i'm saying i equal to 500 because uh, it has only 500 rupees notes in it and then i define one more variable a well which is equal to 2000 which is uh, the amount of money in the atm machine while i is i is less than or equal to money print 500 and then increment by 500 why increment by 500 because that is what we have we have only 500 rupees notes that is why we are incrementing it by 500 but if if the money entered is more than available money then print out of cash and break the loop so when i becomes see i gets incremented right every time i gets incremented so when the value of i becomes more than available money see entire while loop gets terminated entire while loop gets terminated this gets printed out and at the end thank you will be printed out okay so this is how you can use you can use a break statement break statement to terminate a loop continue is used to uh, uh, skip the iteration that's all without terminating the loop all right so let me clear this let me clear this now pass statement pass statement does nothing actually okay it does nothing so let me uh, let me yeah uh, let me not complicate uh, things and confuse you so i'll do uh, i'll do if okay if uh, money if money is money entered is i can say less than 500 500 <clears throat> okay which is minimum amount pass pass okay so let me run the program and tell you what this does so i'll click on play i'll click on play so you are supposed to enter the amount in the multiples of 500 because i told you i told you that we have only 500 rupees notes right so that is why uh, you have to enter uh, in the multi uh, in the uh, multiples of 500 but if you enter let us say 300 if you enter 300 it just gives out thank you okay so if the entered value if the entered value which right now was 300 if the entered value is less than 500 which is minimum value then what to do we have not decided what to do we do not know what to do when we are programming sometimes we we will not be knowing entire thing what will happen okay so we want to just pass it okay we want to uh, uh, skip this we want to uh, do nothing we want to do nothing at that time you can use pass and after some time when you decide to put statements here or if you want or if you decide what to do when the entered value is less than 500 you can come back and edit this until then this will be a dummy okay this will do nothing pass means so uh, right now you leave it as it is okay skip this do not do anything with this so that is what this pass means okay so that is about break continue and pass so it is uh, mainly used to terminate a loop or terminate an iteration all right so go ahead and practice what we have learned in this video i'll see you in the next video till then take care and thank you for watching